Four Chelsea fans accused of refusing to allow a black man onto the Paris Metro have been banned from attending football matches for up to five years. Richard Barclay, from Carrick Fergus, Northern Ireland, and Joshua Parsons and William Simpson, both from Surrey, were banned for five years at Stratford Magistrates Court. Jordan Monday, from Sidcup in Kent, was banned for three years. They were told they could not attend games at home or abroad. District Judge Gareth Branston said, racist hatred was displayed by Chelsea fans on the Paris Metro that evening. He told the court what happened had tarnished the reputation of English football in Europe. Violence flared when Chelsea fans were in the French capital to watch the West London club's Champions League match against Paris Germain on February 17. Afterwards video surfaced showing Frenchman Suleiman Silla pushed off the train amid chants of we're racist and that's the way we like it. The French commuter previously said the whole episode was humiliating. In a statement read out in court, Mr. Silla said he was violently forced off the train as Chelsea fans jeered at him. He said, I again approached the carriage, explaining to this person I wanted to get back on the train. He didn't seem to understand what I said to him, and other supporters behind him were shouting and singing in English. As I don't speak English, I didn't understand what they said. Another person made a sign indicating to the color of the skin on his face, he said. Barclay, 50, of Victoria Street in Carrick, Fergus, a director with the World Human Rights Forum, had admitted twice pushing Mr. Silla, but blamed the Parisian for using aggression and shouting. The judge, however, said Barclay, a former policeman, proved to be a menace and had demonstrated aggressive, disorderly conduct. He said Parsons played a leading role too and displayed aggressive and disorderly conduct as part of a pack of Chelsea fans. It was heard Parsons later lost his job at a Mayfair financial company as a result of his involvement. Another Chelsea supporter, Dean Callis, 32, of Liverpool Road, Islington, received a five-year banning order ahead of the court hearing for a number of incidents, including the one in Paris, Scotland Yard confirmed. Speaking outside court, Barclay said he was considering appealing against the judge's decision. He said, I am surprised that the judge has disregarded the evidence of the person best placed to see what happened on that train, Mr. Silla. Mr. Silla's statements to the French police made clear that I was not involved in any racist activity. The Met Police said there were 224 people in their area who were subject to football banning orders preventing them from attending any designated football matches in the UK or abroad. CH Sub Colin Morgan said, violence and racism have no place in football and we will continue to put offenders before the courts as part of our efforts to make football a safer environment for everyone.